Hello everybody, welcome to Break or New Make. I'm your host, Joan. Today we're gonna talk about pockets. You're gonna draft your own pocket so you can put a pocket in anything. You can put a pocket in a dress, you can put a pocket in pre-made items, you can put pockets wherever you want because you are the boss of pockets. First, we need to draft our pocket. It's super easy. You just need your hand and a pencil. Well, and some paper too. All we're gonna do is trace around our hand. That, with a little bit of room, that seems to be the nice size for a pocket. Once that's traced, we can start adding our little things to make this pocket a very nice looking pattern. What I like to do is to add up a little bit so the pocket can go into a seam, and then we're gonna add seam allowance on this side so we'll just give a little bit of a gentle curve to right here. I've got this all drawn out. Now I can do the real test. The phone fits in the pocket. Now I'm gonna add my seam allowance. I like using a clear grid ruler. This is the best ruler to use. And I'm just gonna add half inch seam allowance. You can add whatever you want for your patterns. Normally, like a commercial pattern would be five eighths. Um, I'm just gonna use half an inch because it's an easy line to find on the ruler. As we're going, I'm just adding my half inch all the way around this bad boy. So do that to your whole pocket pattern. I added my grain line, I added my seam allowance. Now I'm ready to cut my paper pattern out and we are that much closer to having a pocket that goes in anything. For one pocket, you will need to cut two of these because it's a it's only one half you need this half that's probably super crinkly you'll need like this half too so cut two per one pocket i cut out my pocket two at once so i made a mirror image i laid my fabric together we're all ready to set our pocket into our side seam now if you have an already made garment You'll just want to open up the seam a little bit where you want your pocket to sit. But since we don't have our item made, we can set our pocket in now. It's super important for our pocket placement to be even Stevens on both sides. So this is the front of my item. This is the back of my item. I want my pockets to be even. What does that mean? I can't, if I set this one here and I set this one here, what happens is I have an uneven pocket once it's sewn together. I want to make it the same distance from here. There. This is where I want my pocket to sit once it's all sewn together. I want to make sure that my right sides are together. So when I have a finished seam, this is what I see. If I did this one here, both sides are right side up. The wrong side of my pocket will show. Do right sides together, pin this in, and then stitch it along my seam allowance. I am gonna pin the other side in and then we can stitch them. Can you guess what I'm making? Uh, leave a comment below to guess what I'm making. No cheating, don't fast forward. I'm gonna sew my pocket in place. I have got my seams all sewn. I'm going to go press this open and then we can finish the side seam. What? I have my right sides of my item together. I'm gonna sew down here, turn and pivot here, go around the pocket and then keep sewing around and then we'll be ready for the next step. I am close to my pocket. Come look over my shoulder while I do my magic. It's just turn and pivot. You guys, it's gonna be easy. You'll understand it once you see it. I'm gonna turn and pivot once I get to my pocket stitching start. Hand walk it, boom. My needle is in the work. I'm lift the presser foot. Now I'm turning my work. Whoa. It's kind of hard to see my seam allowance. I'm gonna get sure. I should have marked my seam allowance. Curves are tricky, but I believe in you. If you get yourself into a pickle, just hand walk. So if you ever run into trouble, you could always hand walk it for a few stitches to get it 
back organized and ready to sew again. I'm getting close to this corner, so my needle in the work. Lift the presser foot, turn and pivot. Whoa, magic. It's a pillow. I'm gonna stuff it right now with um some of my clippings. I always keep my clippings, um, some like extra old fabric little bits. I always put that in there. I'm gonna put some fiber fill in here too, just because I don't have enough of like my bajunks. So I'm gonna put all my bajunks in here and then I'm gonna start putting fiber fill in here. It's a pillow with a pocket. You can put a pocket in anything. You're the boss of pockets. My pillow is all stuffed. I've got a pocket in my pillow. Now I can hide the remotes from Mystery Make in our pillow. <laughs> He'll never guess. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more eco-friendly DIYs. We'll save the world by making things. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey. <laughs> so silly.